Hello and a very warm welcome. Nottingham Forest 2, Manchester United 1. And officially, Eric Ten Hag has to go. He can no longer survive as the Manchester United manager. Um, unacceptable defeat once again. And we are the worst team in the league to watch by now. We turn up against Villa. We lose to Forest. I called it. I called it in the preview. It's happened time and time again. Um, beat Chelsea. Lose to Bournemouth. You know, lose to West Ham. Uh, beat Villa. Lose to Forest. Unacceptable. That is our ninth Premier League defeat. We're out of Europe. And we've gone backwards this season. So you can't defend him anymore. And I have been one of his biggest supporters. Stood behind him. I feel like stabbed in the back. But yeah, all credit Nottingham Forest. They thoroughly deserve to win. A goal from Demi Dominic Guess. Um, yeah, it was well deserved. Then we got a gift by the Nottingham Forest keeper. Rashford scored. And then Gibbs White made it 2-1. And game over. And yeah, strange substitution. Taking Mino off and bringing on Scott McTominay. What is that all about? Mino has been one of our best players. And he's took him off. It's not even a rant, this, because we are terrible. Nottingham Forest deserve to win, rightfully so. It's a terrible first half, one of the worst halves you're going to watch. But honestly, Manchester United are one of the worst teams to watch in the league. We don't score goals. We got gifted one today. But yeah, in open play, we don't really score goals. We've gone backwards under Ten Hag's reign. And once again, the players are massively to blame for another manager basically falling on the sword. But there's got to be a cut-off point, and Ten Hag has hit that cut-in point. Out of Europe, out of the AFL Cup, playing shit football, not scoring goals. Substitutions, he's lost a plot at the minute. We had such a good season, kick on from that. We've gone backwards, so Ten Hag has to go. Simple. Um, it's a massive risk to bring in another manager, but he's got to go now. The that's that's enough. That is enough. Nine nine defeats in the Premier League already, and we're only just hitting the new year. How many are we going to have by the end of the season? We're not scoring goals. Football to win games, you need goals. We we can't score. The front three's abysmal. Absolutely shocking. None of them were getting a top Premier League side. Anthony's a show pony. Garnacho lives off for an overhead kick against Everton. Rashford gets a tap in today that's gifted to him. But just really poor, really poor. Hoyland's uh, apparently ill today. Yeah, he's probably ill from goalitis because he never scores. Um, yeah, enough is enough. Ten Hag, big things were expected. And it's a vicious circle that continues. The players throw another manager under the bus. And of course it's the players to blame. But Ten Hag's got to take the blame too. But yeah, you can't get rid of 10 players. So again, another manager will fall. And again, it will continue. We bring in the manager. It's positive. We give him money to spend on flop signings. It's all rosy in the first year. And then it goes tits up because the players can't be asked. Rinse, repeat that sentence, and that is what happens at Manchester United. It's embarrassing. It's a humiliating season for Manchester United. We've got Wigan in the FA Cup. Wigan. And I believe, honestly, the way we're playing Wigan will do a job on us. Our season's done. We're not winning the FA Cup. We'll be lucky to get past Wigan, let alone win the thing. I mean, we're really poor in the Premier League. Ninth defeat already. Out of Europe, finishing bottom of that group, not even making the Europa League. Bottom of the group, Bayern, Copenhagen, Galatasaray. It's a disgrace. Um, yeah, and then we get knocked out at the Carabao Cup. So, yeah. Um, I'm not, like, ranting, because it's normal now. You turn on a Manchester United game, you support the team, and they just put in shit after shit after shit. The players throw another manager under the bus. How many is that now? 
and you've got Shaw and Rashford who have been here throughout every manager. It's like, wow. Yeah, forget the season, it's over. There's no point ranting about it because we've seen it week after week. We, um, we beat Chelsea because it's a big team and then we lose to Bournemouth. We beat Aston Villa because it's a big team. They're doing well. We lose to Forest. Forest thoroughly deserved the win. And yeah, it is what it is. Ten Hag has to go. He has to go. Cannot survive after that. He has to go. And they've got to replace him fast. Top four's gone. No trophies this season. And the main reason Ten Hag has to go is because we've gone backwards. We've gone backwards. Last season, trophy, top four. This season, gone totally backwards. Ten Hag has to go. The club need to do the right thing. But who's going to come in? We don't want any Graham Potters. We may as well stick with Ten Hag if we're going for Potter. But yeah, it's a disgrace. Honestly, Manchester United fans having to endure this every week. Just painful. Painful. But there's always a cut-off point for the manager. And Ten Hag is now. I've been massively behind him. I've backed him, backed him, backed him. When others have called it, my subscriber called it early, Mr. Rant called for him to go. I stood behind, stood behind, but now you can't defend the indefensible. Our record this season is shit, and we've gone backwards under Ten Hag. So, he needs to go. Ten Hag, yeah.